dropping off roads. I'm nothing but a delivery boy. At least we're not being shot at. Don't speak too soon. Destroyer probes are too finely tuned. We'll be lucky if they don't start shooting at us as soon as we drop them. Let's get it over with. Ready? Ready. Hit it! Get us away from here, Raymore! Sorry I can't take you right to the door, folks, but uh, I don't think your little toy would stand the strain of my engine. My big brother thinks that anything that isn't Starcom is a toy. I didn't say that. Leanna, don't be so sensitive. Without Starcom, we couldn't even exist out here. And without scientists, there would be no Starcom. All right? Well, I worry. You take care out there, little sister. You too, Mom. Sure, that's going ashore. Remember, we'll pick you up in 24 hours. Roger, Colonel. Watch out for the air whales. Dash, of all the stupid air whales are harmless. Dash was teasing. Honestly, the two of you. Niner to Starcom 1, come in. Hey, brother-in-law. Yes, Colonel. Any change in that signal from Station 1? Nope. Nothing but a locator frequency. No information transmissions at all. Well, keep monitoring and let me know if there's any change. He really was worried about us. That's Starcom's job, Mother. Beautiful. You really love them. I just wish we knew more. They eat something, they move somehow, and they're not intelligent, as far as we can tell. Patience. As you always tell me, science takes time. Truer words were never spoken. Look, there! It was a kite, wasn't it? Yes, stalking the air whales. The cameras were recorded. Come on, we've got to run that maintenance alignment check. Incoming missiles! 
What? Why would anyone fire on a research station? Can't they see we're unarmed? They're getting awfully close. They better. Everyone, hang on to something. We're leaving. But this thing has no engines. I know. We're going on a Nantucket sleigh ride. Taxi, on your seat. Just a minute. That's got it. We've stopped moving. We could be anywhere. We're alive, that's something. Was that a Nantucket sleigh ride? Yep. What kind of sled? In the old days on Earth, when they used to hunt whales, sometimes a harpoon whale would drag a whale boat for miles. They called it a Nantucket sleigh ride. I used our drogue drift anchor as a harpoon and hitched us a ride on an air whale. Did the anchor hurt it? No, they don't feel pain. Or anything else, as far as we can tell. They're just... there! And we're here. But where is here? Good question. We're about a hundred kilometers from our last position. The air whales are faster than we thought. Well, you never shot at them before. We didn't shoot at them. Someone did. The scanners picked this up just before we were attacked. Rusty, your gunnery section. What is that? Well, we don't have anything like it. But if I was to guess, I'd say it was some sort of armed drift probe. A what? A floating mine, ma'am. Which means there's probably more of them around. Oh, no. Let's hope Dash gets back to us before we run into another one. We may have a long wait, Leanna. Our communications boy is gone. It could take weeks for them to find us. Weeks? But we only have enough air. For another day. I know, dear. I know. Now let me get this straight. Two sixes and an eight be three of a kind unless it's a Tuesday or a month with an R? Right. What do you call this game again? Fizz bin. I'll get it. I'll get it. What's the game? Fizz bin. Good hand, huh? 
No, you got a red uh, nine. I do? Yeah, and since it's afternoon, you lose. Hey, wait a minute. Any word yet from your mom and sister? Nothing yet. They should have checked in by now. They probably lost track of the time. They're scientists. My mother's not an absent-minded scientist. She always remembers to check in. Something's wrong. You're right. Our patrols picked up a shadow core ship in the asteroid belt. It made a pass through Jupiter space. And it was rigged to carry destroyer probes. A mine layer. Leanna and Mom are in trouble. Hey, I think... I was going to say, I think we'd better get over there. The Station 1 beacon is still operating. The stations were close together when 2 went off the air. We'll start there. Be careful. The probes are slow, but the missiles they carry aren't. Yeah, and they can turn on a dime. has just got to be looking for us. And there's no way to let them know where we are. Sometimes you just have to trust your luck. Luck has no place in science. What's that whip? Whip? No. The kites and air whales don't show up on radar. Or even biodar. I don't know. You don't suppose... No. I'm afraid it's one of those probes. Only a few hours of air left. Calm down, Sean. Yeah. Gotta be looking for us. No mistakes now. They're running low on air down there. Don't worry. We'll find them. I have to worry. I've got family down there. So do I. Leanna's my wife, sir. Sorry, Victor. Nothing down there but the boy. I have a dozen probes. Closing at 20 kilometers, 90 degrees true. Heads up, guys. Tracking three groups of on my command, fire dispersion barrage. Hold it. Hold it. Now. Great. Missiles impact in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, zero. On target. I have 12 possible targets. No, 15, 18, and closing fast. Thank you. Tracking no missiles. 
missiles, no probes. Start the search pattern. I got lost once. I remember. Yeah. Dash and I were on a ranger cadet camping trip in the Yukon. We got stormed in and nearly froze to death. I was so scared. When they found you both, I was so relieved. I never asked how you were located. The cadet master had a flare gun. She fired a flare and an airliner saw it. A flare? That's right. What's the matter? I have an idea. It may not work, but anything's better than simply sitting here doing nothing. This is Dash. I've covered Red Sector 2. Moving on to Red Sector 3. They might not even be at this depth anymore. They might not even be alive. Slim here. Just blew a probe at Vector 3.95. Beginning my turn. No, wait. If you're still getting probes on your track, it may mean the probes drifted your way. And if the probes did, the station could have. Right. Stay on course. I'll be right over to support you. Everyone okay? Fine. What's the plan? I've evacuated all the air on board into the spare fuel tank. Yeah? So? Now I'm going to use the retros to fire it at that probe up there. What? That's our air! Mother! <laughs> that leaves us with only two hours of air. What did you hope to gain? I'm betting that that probe will send out our distress signal. Concentrated oxygen flare at 330. I see it. Let's go. Probar, big. Rendezvous at point 330. Right. Mom, Leanna, are you okay? Fine now, son. But we've only got a few minutes of air left. That makes us about even. We've only got a few minutes of fuel. Victor, Slim, you go in and lock on. We'll ride shotgun. Activate Magnolus. All ahead, one half speed. Dash, we've got company. Bro, lots of them. Take them if they close. They're just hanging up there. Think they're afraid of us? Probably waiting for us to run out of gas. In my case, I think they've got two minutes. My tanks are dry, Slim. Sorry. I'm near the empty. Yeah? Yeah, buddy? I think I'd rather go down fighting. Roger that. We might as well do this right. Here they come. Colonel Erringer, this is Captain Yablonski. You folks need a tow. You bet, Captain. How many women's husbands actually ride to their rescue? Hey, not in front of the guys. Didn't I tell you to watch out for those air whales? For your information, big brother, it was an air whale that saved us. Really? Among other things, yes. Well, you'll never hear me insult an air whale again. Okay, three red cards beat four black, but only if they're no queens. Are you sure you've got the rules right?
So, uh, you cats all copacetic here? What's she talking about, Slim? <laughs> she wants to know if we want anything else. Uh, what's the proper response? <laughs> Say, we're cool, chick. We are cold, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> Never mind, Crowbar. Did they really talk like this in the 1950s? <laughs> they really did, Slim. Well, I say it is. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Looks like trouble. Yeah, and not our business. <laughs> Don't forget our mission. Right. The researchers on the Ganymede colony are waiting for the new security computer modem. And we better go and deliver it. We'll see about that. Oh, no. Stop. Oh, excuse me. No problem, ma'am. Easy, boys. We don't want to break up Luna's newest hotspot, do we? Thanks for the help, soldier. Any time, ma'am. Any time at all. Did you give him the shot? Well? Yes. Even now, the cyberbug is growing in his system. When it begins transmitting, we will know everything Colonel Paul Corbin sees and hears. We sure appreciate you letting us ride along with you, Didi. Hey, no problem, boy. Always glad to help Starcom. Oh, I'm not so sure about this, Dash. Regulations say... Listen, our orders are to take this new computer modem to Ganymede in one piece. And it's better if we do it without calling attention to ourselves. Right. A military convoy would just invite an attack by the Shadow Force. This way, they'll probably ignore us. Yeah, they can't attack what they don't know about. Can't attack what they don't know about. It works. We can hear and see everything Corbin sees and hears. Of course it works. But if Emperor Dark finds out... He won't. We'll disable the convoy and be in and out before Dark suspects a thing. Then I can tap into Starcom's computer and it won't matter what Dark thinks. My power will be as great as his. What's that rock doing there? It's not on the charts. Your deflectors can handle it, can't they? I wish. It's too big. We're in trouble. Well, gang, looks like we get a chance to earn our ride. Power deploy. Magna lock off. Starmac 1, you are clear for launch. Roger, Nanook. Bogey inertia equivalent at 6-9er G. Copy. And tracking beams are locked into phase pulse as of now. Coming up on optimum range. On my mark. Roger. Weapons locked on target. Now. Maintain firing. Got it! Oh. Nice shooting slam. Ah, a piece of cake.
Thanks for the help, boys. But it looks like one of the pieces got through. We've got a ship with a damaged drive. Uh-oh. I can't believe something big enough to do that much damage got through. Yeah, we blasted that rock into gravel. Tell me all about it. No, 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 no. A crowbar? Where'd you go, crowbar? You really are in space. Yuck! Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just remembering our last meal on Luna. Let me guess. That woman in the cafe, right? Ah, oh, well, yeah, actually. She sure was beautiful. It wasn't that so much, but I felt something with her. It was as if I knew her from somewhere, like we were old friends. Old enemies, you mean. But I think I'm getting to like you, Paul Corbin. The repairs are done. Time to get moving again. Uh-oh. Now what? One of the robot ships has gone haywire. It's getting a signal from auxiliary control. Can you override it? That's a negative. It's coming back right at us. We've got to get to auxiliary control. Rolak, they're on their way toward you. Scramble the control codes and get out fast. While they get to the controls, we better get to the Starmax. Crowbar can get control of that thing. I'd hate to destroy a year's worth of supplies for Ganymede. Somebody has scrambled the codes. Can you fix it? I don't know. Maybe. We can't lose that ship. Aim for the drive. We'll have to cripple it if Crowbar can't get control. Affirmative. Locking sensor. Aiming onto starboard drive tubes. How you doing, Crowbar? Not so good, Dash. Somebody did a real number here. Hurry up, pal, or we're gonna have to shoot this bird down. Copy, Slim. I'm working on it. You're sure the Nanook is in no danger? Positive. The robot ship will take out half the convoy, but not the Nanook. Good. We don't want anything to happen to the new modem, do we? We can't wait for Crowbar. It's getting too close. Better take it out, Slim. Affirmative. Stand by. Firing particle beams now. What happened? My weapon systems are down. We can't shoot anything. Dee Dee, somebody sabotaged our weapons. Change course. Move your convoy. Uh oh. Somebody has put the ship into tracking mode. We'll have to ram it. Too late. We'll never make it. We can't stop it, buddy. It's still coming. Give up, Crowbar. You'll never make it. Oscillators, 60. Down IF, up 200. Rectify RF modulator, in and... I'll make it 10 seconds to impact. Modulator influx, go. Nine, I gaze at feedback, eight, steady. Seven, six, five, 
Thor. And terminal lock on as of now. Whoa! That's got it. Oh, brother, he stopped it just in time. Hey, uh, Crowbar, you cut that kind of close, didn't you? I had three seconds left, didn't I? Blast you, Corbin. But you're very good, aren't you? You intrigue me more and more. Got him. I found our intruder. He's on C-Deck, Module 69. Stowaways are definitely against regulations. Especially when they try to blow up our ship. Let's go have a little talk with our mysterious friend. Romac, they're on to you. Go. Breathe. Nobody home. It's like he knew we were coming. But how? Dee Dee, our guest has departed. Can you find him again? Unless he monkeys with the security system, I'll find him. Could he disable the security system, Crowbar? Not unless he knows that the security wires are coded blue and green. understand it. The system went down right after I talked to you. Yeah. It's almost like whoever this guy is, he's one step ahead of us. Well, let's see how he does against the Starcom search pattern. I'm gonna see if I can get the security system back online, if that's okay. Might as well. Nothing else seems to be working. I just had a thought. Could we be bugged? A hidden transmitter. Hmm, that might explain it. I'll go get Crowbar. Let him work on the security system. I can run a scan for internal transmissions. Why don't you stop playing with that and show me what your friends are up to? This ought to do it. Fire it up! You're saying Crowbar is carrying a hidden transmitter? Not carrying it, Slim. As far as I can tell, it's inside him. Inside him? It must be some kind of viral or bacterial radio transmitter. A cyberbug. Wonderful. How do we get rid of it? I don't think we can. Whoever did this gave us a Trojan horse we can't get rid of. Wait, I have an idea. Remember the old speed code Crowbar made up a few years ago? Calling Bondar, are you in position? I am here, woman. You may begin your fake distress call in eight hours. You're so kind. Say again, I did not copy that. I said just what I had in mind. Let's do it. I hope this works. I got it. I got it here. I got it here now. Uh, okay. Uh, it's working. Huh? He understands. Blast it! What's wrong? I'm not getting anything but blackness and beeps. Romac, you'd better get out of there. I've lost contact with the cyberbuck. Where's Crowbar? Waiting in the conference room. It's real quiet in there. Good. He won't be sending any information. We've also picked up a ship in distress call outside the Stevens asteroid cluster. Shouldn't be anybody there. We'll have to check it out. Regulations. It sounds odd to me. It could be a trap. We'll check it out. 
but we'll do it carefully. I have an idea. Hey, hold it, you! Ooh, oh, oh. Hey, you can't go in there! <laughs> One of the emergency airlocks has been breached. Something's up. Looks like we'll have to act sooner than we thought. Hey! Hey! Ask him if he's sure he wants to do this. It'll be dangerous. Fighter engine. It can't be. You didn't see any fighters on the freighter, did you? The cyberbug is malfunctioning. But no matter. Bondar will take them. Hmm. Come on, crowbar. Turn. How's it going, Slim? Almost to the Stevens Cluster. Good. Let's show them where he is. It's the Stevens Cluster. They must be trying to sneak away. We've got to catch them. No! Force has come calling. There's only one of them. What are the others? What? Chip in distress, all right, wouldn't you say, Slim? That's affirmative now. You get that? Whoever is spying through me? They found us out. Looks like your Colonel Crowbar outsmarted you, Malvana. Yes, he did, didn't he? Well, one battle doesn't win the war. There'll be another time. How do you feel? Fine. The medics say you're cured of the cyberbug. They got the specs for the anti-cyberbiotic from Starcom Maxiframe using the new modem we delivered. I guess maybe you'll stay away from strange blondes in the future, eh? Maybe. Then again, maybe not.
Ready, Micro One? Power deploy! Magna lock off! Ready, Wolf Two! Ready, Dash? I get no human readings on the two smaller craft, but there's somebody in the big one. Here we go! We're hit! Wolf Two, launch! Power deploy! Drones one and two, move in. satellite didn't leave much for us to do. Hey! It's not supposed to fire on us! Dash! I'm on it, Crowbar. Kelsey, the automated defense satellite just fired on us again. Sorry, Dash. I I'll work on it. It's the third time our new satellites fired on a Starcom vehicle since it was set up. It's the first automated defense satellite ever built. The first of anything is going to have a few bugs. Well, I've studied the specs and I think I know a way to fix it. You can't do that. The rulebook is very clear about tinkering with Starcom property. What does it say? It says don't. Starcom has deployed a new satellite weapon. We were ambushed. We took out two robot drones. I would like to have that satellite, General Vonda. I'll get it for you, Emperor Dark, um, right away. Um, you have been given an assignment. Haven't I told you not to sneak up on me? Let him get his old satellite. Or let us get it for ourselves. Malvana! Fill him out. Kelsey. No. If you want to tinker with Starcom property, you have to fill out Starcom's forms. Those are the rules. Bye. I haven't got time to fill these out. What if the Shadow Force comes back? I'll fill them out. Go get your tools and get started. You are sure about the satellite's firepower? Yes, I told you yes. Then we'll take it. Emperor Dark will be pleased. So what? I'm through taking orders from him. I too am tired of taking orders from Emperor Dark. But there is a way to break free of him. 
Starcom's defense satellite? With it, we can smash Starcom. Then we'll use their vehicles and weapons to break free of Dark. Tarvek's loyalty is programmed in. He'll never go along with stealing the satellite for ourselves. We won't tell him that part. This old station works a lot better than that new satellite. The satellite will be okay. Crowbar is fixing it. What? He doesn't have permission! How much longer? Not much. I just have to disconnect this relay. Funny. What you're doing is against regulations. Or have you filled out all the proper forms already? Well, not exactly. I knew it. I can't let you disable this satellite without proper backups. The relay! It's already disabled, Slim. Grobar, you have to reconnect and go through proper channels. I'm almost finished. What if we're attacked? The auxiliary system will give us plenty of warning. Yeah, plenty. According to the book, we... According to the book, it shouldn't have been firing at us in the first place.
train station. No casualties, sir, but a lot of damage. Try the rear auxiliaries and get some spare support struts. I see you're all right. Sectors one and two, check. Damage control to sectors three. Medical unit, stand by. <laughs> what was that? The fuel storage tanks have been hit. If the fuel runs out and the orbital stabilizer shut down, we'll crash into the rings. The base will break up. Wait. Now what? A strong magnet power is surrounding the defense satellite. They're stealing our defense satellite. <laughs> We've got it. Now we must bring it to Emperor Dodge. That's what you think. Their attack on the ring station was a decoy. We can't just let the Shadow Force steal our satellite. Let them have it. It didn't work anyway. It worked fine before you started tinkering with it. Look what's happening now. It was shooting at us, and I don't tinker. You should have gone through the proper channels. The artificial gravity's gone off. And the stabilizer has shut down. The station's orbit will decay. It'll fall into Saturn's atmosphere and burn up. If it isn't torn apart by the rings. We've got to find more fuel. The fuel tanker. It's in this sector. According to this tracking link, it's somewhere in the ring plane. Let's find it. Which one of you sorry creatures fired on me? Not me! It was the Starcom satellite. Well, it better stop. All right, that's it. The Starcom satellite is malfunctioning. What? What do you mean? Someone has removed the main relay circuitry. The backup system is firing. Randomly. Make the lock off! How dare they give me a broken satellite! I'll make them sorry they ever invented it. Let's go! There's gotta be here somewhere. I see it. Below me in the ring plane. Now who's firing on us? No time to fight. Dive through the ring plane. It's our only chance. Go. I'll hold him off. Magnalock, on! 
Something done right, do it yourself. See you at the ring station. <coughs> Slim to Dash and Crowbar. I hate to be a bother, but get me out of here. I read you, Slim. Hang on. We don't have time to rescue Slim and get the fuel back to the station. There's more fuel in these modules than we need to save the station. I've got an idea. My engines are out. I can't get ignition. Just one clear shot. That's all I need. Almost in position. Now, crowbar. Magna lock off. I have you now. agree on how to get things done, but we always get things done. You two can't do anything right. Us? It was your idea to use the satellite to take over. Take over? What do you mean? Nothing. Never mind. Malvena, Vonda, Torvek. I want to see you. Now. We're back in stable orbit again, thanks to you guys. Which almost makes up for you three causing the blow up in the first place. I uh, suppose this means disciplinary action, Admiral. If that's what you want to call three weeks reactor mass disposal duty, then yes. Well, here's another fine mess you've gotten us into. Hey, I'll bet we could use a Starmax Transtar Warp Generator to neutralize the reactor mass. <laughs> Easy, Slim. Let me go. I'll magna lock him to a comet. It was just an idea!
This is just incredibly exciting. I mean, they've actually found a lost city of the builders. Let's not get carried away, Slim. What they found was one wall. So far. But who knows what might be buried deeper under the sand. Our instrument readings indicate that you might be right, Colonel Griffin. I knew it. We're witnessing galactic history being made. Don't you feel humble? Actually, I feel hungry. Care to join me in the commissary for some chow, Consuela? I'd love to. I hear their soy pro tastes like genuine cow. Cow leather, you mean. Amazing. We could be on Pluto and Dash would find a woman to fall for. He's just doing his job. After all, we're here as an escort to the United System's top scientists. Besides, wouldn't you rather be here watching this than having lunch with the lovely Dr. O'Shaughnessy? I think there's something wrong with your oxygen mix. Travers to Griffin. Come in, Slim. Roger, Bill. What is it? You guys have got a whole lot of trouble coming your way. There's a big sandstorm coming your way out of the northeast. ETA, less than an hour. Thanks, Bill. Trouble? I'll say. There's a cloud on our horizon, and it doesn't have a silver lining. Get everyone into the Starmax, quickly! Storms can last for months. Every trace of the site could be lost. We've left out the tracers there. When the storm's over, we can find it. It may be buried again, but if we must start over, we will. You're taking this well, Consuela. I know you've searched all your life for this find. It's the Martian way. Life is hard here. One must adapt, if one is to survive. Where to now? Orders are to head for the base at Burroughs City. This Star Max is due for routine maintenance. Hey, great. I can visit Tom and Jenny. They'd love to see their Uncle Slim again. It sure is nice of you to take us riding in your laser rack, Bob. Well, you kids should know how to handle vehicles like this just in case there's ever an emergency. Like to steer for a while, Jenny? You bet! Be patient and wait your turn, Tommy. Wee, this is fun! Where are we now, Bob? We're getting near the Vals Marineris, Jenny. Uh-oh. Looks like a sandstorm up ahead. Better let me drive, Jenny. We've got to get back to Burroughs City. If we get caught in it, it could foul up our instruments. We might get lost. Are you all right? Uh-huh. I think so. What happened? We broke through the sandstone crust. Looks like we'll have to radio for help. Uh-oh. Looks like the radio's broken. That's okay. Our suit radios have enough power. Lieutenant Bob Anders calling Burroughs City. That's funny. It's not working. You mean we're trapped down here? No, no, honey, of course not. They'll find us by our suit tracer signals. We can't stay here, not with all that sand coming down. Let's move over there to wait it out. I'm scared. It's spooky down here. Yeah. What if there's monsters? Nothing to be scared of. If there ever was anything alive down here, it's been gone for millions of years. That's strange. I've never seen rock like this before. Ah! I knew it! There are monsters! Tom, 
Jenny, wait. It's just a sculpture of some kind. You'll get lost. Come back. Well, Slim is going to see his family, and Consuela and I thought we'd check out the sights, such as they are. You're welcome to come with us, Crowbar. Well, I don't want to be a third wheel. Why should that bother you all of a sudden? Bad news? Maybe. Seems Jenny and Tom were out with Bob Anders and a laser rat. They're overdue. I'm worried that they might have been caught in that storm. Maybe we'd better go look for them. Yeah, maybe we'd better. What is it, Bob? Some ancient city of the builders. Has to be. Footsteps! What? Footsteps! I heard Bob's footsteps behind us! You're right! That means there's air down here! Maybe so, but let's keep our helmets on just to be safe. Come on, we've got to find a way out of here. I think we're near the excavation site. It's hard to tell. The sandstorm has changed everything. Any sign of them, Crowbar? I'm getting some very faint readings. Might be suit tracers. Maybe we ought to get some air back up to... Look at that! We were worried that the sandstorm would bury it. Instead, it did our job for us. I don't care about the city now. I just want to find Tom and Jenny. Don't worry, Slim. We will. Hey! What's going on? Hey! Thinking. We must have broken through the crust. No. We're on some kind of platform. We're being taken into the city. Imagination. This way. What do we do now? Hey, you're the scientist. You tell us. Any suit tracer readings? None. But according to this, there's air out there. Oxygen nitrogen mix. We know that Mars had a much thicker atmosphere millions of years ago. Evidently, some of it was trapped below the surface. I wouldn't recommend breathing it. We don't know where it's been. Anything in the rule book about proper Starcom procedure in Alien City, Slim? We've got to get out of here and find Tom and Jenny. Makes sense to me. That's not necessary. According to our sensor, the kids are in here. What? Okay, let's go search for them. Prepare to power deploy. Hey, what happened? The engine just died. Looks like if we go anywhere, it's going to be on foot. 
Maybe we can still find him with this. You know, I'm getting... Let me guess, a bad feeling about this? How'd you know? Why this tunnel? Why not? Fair enough. What is it? I'm scared. Supposed to get in? I don't think we have a lot of choice. We're running low on air. Maybe there's a team of archaeologists at the other end of this. This is incredible! Builders were obviously non human. Notice the design of the chair. This looks like some kind of information terminal. Careful, Crowbar, don't touch anything. Hey, come on, Dash. I didn't just fall off the Star Freighter this morning, you know. I'm getting tired of this. While we're wasting time here, Tom and Jenny and Bob could be in bad trouble. Roger. Whoa! Uh-oh. Now look what you made me do. What do we do now? Just to be on the safe side, I suggest we get out of here fast. What? <laughs> Amazing! Evidently, there's still power in these machines even after millions of years. Look, what's that? Maybe it means exit. Let's hope so. Come on. Oh, that's hot. Looks like the end of the line. We're still underground, and we don't have much air left. Our radios are still on the fritz. Keep moving, kids. It's all we can do. Man, just when I think I'm beyond being impressed. This must be the central monitoring and control area for the whole city. If only we could communicate with it. A secret it could tell us. Yeah, like the way out. Suppose it heard us? More to the point. Did it like what it heard? Bob, I I can't breathe. We gotta take off our helmets. Okay, get yours off. I'll help Jenny with hers. I can breathe. Seems to be okay, so far. It's awful stale. Just be glad it's not carbon dioxide. Come on, you two. We're not out of this yet. What's going on?
Hey, I'm getting a reading. There's someone that way. Come on, it might be Tom and Jenny. What about all of this? We might get another chance like this, but Bob and the kids will have no chance unless we go. Must be something in the air. What's that? They're in here with Bob. Get in the cab. We can wait out the storm and... What happened? We'll figure it out later. Right now, let's get these three back to Borough City. Good idea. I've had enough of this place. these things coming at us through the mist and we passed out i knew there were monsters down there they weren't monsters they saved our lives that's what i remember too when we found you in the harv seven you had your helmets on and full air tanks i can't explain it that's okay we can't explain how the harv seven got moved from where we left it not to mention the laser rat and there's the little matter of that mysterious sandstorm that has hidden all trace of the city once again. The traces we left there don't seem to work anymore. It'll be a long time before we find it again, if we do. It's as if that big computer, or whatever it was, showed us all the door and then hid the house. Organic senility in the memory banks, maybe. After all, it is millions of years old. I don't know. I think it knew exactly what it was doing. Well, I'm just glad everyone got out okay. Ah! Oh, what have you got in your pocket, Jenny? Oh, I almost forgot. This was in here when I woke up. A little bit of knowledge. Looks like that's all we're allowed to have. For now, anyway.
Slow it down. The readings indicate we're almost through the ice cap. We've got the scan approach ready. Okay, launch probe. I told you, there wouldn't be any bio readings. There's nothing down there. I guess you're right. Okay, let's listen. Just static or geothermal activity. No, it's more than that. There's something down there, something alive. Planetary survey ship Houston to Starcom. We may have discovered life on Europa. Repeat. Circuits indicate a 96% chance of successfully destroying Starcom by a surprise attack. Emperor Dark will be pleased. We will attack at 0900 hours, so the time. Begin assembling your fleet. Max One to Ring Station. Mark sublight transition at 1500 hours solar time. Copy, Star Max One. Welcome back to the real universe. You still back there, Crowbar? Where else would I be? I hate hyperspace. Makes me feel like I've been in a cosmic trash compactor. Would you rather spend nine months traveling from Mars to Jupiter, Crowbar? No. I'd rather be home in a nice hot bath. Later, if you're lucky. Now, listen up. Our ETA on Ganymede is 1700. We'll rendezvous with Anders and Hayes for routine maneuvers at... Ring station to Starmax 1. Starmax 1. Ring station to Starmax 1. Change of orders, guys. Proceed immediately to Europa. You're going to serve as honor guard for the survey ship Houston. Sure, Kelsey, but what's so important about this? The scientists on board think they've discovered intelligent life on Europa. A scanner probe has recorded sounds like whale songs in Europa's oceans, which could mean something down there has developed the ability to communicate. Wow. This could be the biggest thing since the first man on the moon. We're on our way, Kelsey. Dash out. You guys be careful. If you land on Europa, be sure to turn up your suit heaters. Genie, how can you worry about that at a time like this? Kelsey, I'm programmed to worry. Starcom, this is Lieutenant Tom Waldron on routine patrol. Roger, Bandit. Anything interesting to report? I'm showing some odd readings in the IO sector. Probably just the volcanoes kicking up again. No, there's some kind of power source down there. I'm going to check on it. Be careful. Those eruptions can throw some big rocks. Roger that. I'll use cover. Radar 2. 
What? Starkov, I have visual on a Shadow Force vehicle departing Io. Get your scopes and sensors on that moon, Bandit. Comb every square inch. See what's going on down there. Looks like we're early, guys. It's all 100 hours. They should be here. Here they come. Starmax 1 to survey ship Houston. We're here to escort you to... Starmax 1, this is Admiral Brickley. Stand by for new orders. What? Again? Effective immediately. You will establish a base camp on Europa. Reinforcements are on the way. Begging the Admiral's pardon, sir, but why? We have reason to believe the Shadow Force is mounting some sort of army on Io. Europa's closest to Io right now. We need a base there. Admiral Brickley, this is Don Ostertag on board the survey ship Houston. You can't do this. What about the possibility of intelligent life on Europa? A battle on Europa might disrupt the ecology enough to ruin any chance of finding it. It might even destroy whatever it is living there. I understand your concern, Dr. Ostertag, but I'm afraid the defense of Starcom must come first. Starmax, you have your orders. You heard the man. Here we go. It's always his way. The military always comes before research. Come on, pal. You can't fight City Hall. Dr. Ostertag is right, you know. This might be our only chance of finding intelligent alien life. Yes, and the Shadow Force might also be planning on destroying Starcom. We can't take the chance. It's colder than a well digger's belt buckle here. Any reports about Io? Dash is checking with Kelsey now. I hate to say it, but it looks like the Admiral was right. There's something happening on Io. Well, whatever it is, we'll be ready. A major space battle between Io and Europa could ruin our chances of ever finding what made those sounds. I understand. Maybe we can avoid that. I've got an idea. Excellent. Excellent. What do you want? Your permission to take a squadron of shadow bats into the Jovian system. Do as you wish. Leave me to my studies. Why do you need all these shadow bats? To take my drones through hyperspace from Isle to Saturn, where they can attack the Starcom ring station. What? Why? Starcom has thwarted Emperor Dark's plans in the past. Therefore, if I destroy them, his work will be made easier. Did you tell Emperor Dark about this? There is no need. The logic of it is self-evident. That's your neck, Torvik. I'm always up for a fight. Prepare for warp drive. You uh, want to go over this plan again, Dash? It's easy. We want to avoid any damage to Europa because there might be intelligent life under the ice. So we're going to just take out the Shadow Force station on Io before they know what hit them. The milk run. Doesn't sound any harder than catching a meteor with your teeth. I don't know. It's definitely not by the book. Don't worry. This is going to be a piece of cake.
Uh oh. Strong Pop Star Wars. Major Flag. Attack. of action. Starbase Command, this is Derringer. We're under attack by the Shadow Force. Repeat. A piece of cake, you said? A milk run? More like a barbecue. Get in close. Try to disable their engines. It's our only chance. to transport the drones. We will attack without delay. Hold up, Slim. You can't save me. You're just gonna crash with me. Don't be silly. I can't let you crash. It's against regulation. Have it your way. Back the lock on. <laughs> to try it, but would you listen? I tried to radio for help. Too much interference from Jupiter. There's got to be a way off this hot plate. Well, we could climb into one of those volcanoes and wait for it to erupt, but it might get a little uncomfortable. This is interesting. We're not far from that power source Bandit saw. Oh, terrific. Now we're going to ask the Shadow Force for help? You got any better ideas? Well, no. Assemble the drones, and we will assign them to the Shadow Bats. Hey. Ah. It's an invasion force, all right. We've got to stop them. Yeah? 
What are we gonna do? Throw rocks at him? That's exactly what we'll do. Come on. I've got a bad feeling about this. Derringer to Starcom. I'm approaching the rendezvous point. Roger, Dash. Your backup should be going sublight. Now. Your ride's here, Dash. Climb aboard. Backup lock on. Power to forward. Come on. We'll throw the Star Wolves into the lava pool. You're crazy! If we do that, the power cores might cause an eruption. Exactly. Come on. In this low gravity, we can each lift one. Have you given any thought to what might happen to us if that pool erupts? Like I said before, have you got any better ideas? Tell you this is a bad neighborhood for tourists. Thanks to you three. We can continue our search for intelligent life in Europa's oceans. Good luck. Tell them hello for me. It might take years, but it's worth it. Thanks for getting us away from there, Dash. Yeah, though you did cut it a bit close. Hey, have you no sense of drama? The Shadow Force got off Io. If they did, I'm sure we'll be running into them again. Three Shadow Bats disabled, and a whole platoon of drones destroyed. One of you to save for yourself, Torbeck. I was only trying to help, Emperor. Voltaire once said, better to have a thousand enemies than one fool on my side. Remind me to check your logic circuits, Torbeck. Dismissed.
Wait. Yes. So, Emperor Dark has come up with some new kind of EMP device. It's supposed to be able to knock out anything electronic, even through shielding. We're going to test it on Mars. That's what I like about you, Torbeck. Your sparkling conversation. So, this is the new F-1400 Starwolf, huh? Well, it's just like the others. On the outside, maybe. But the new engines are really hot. They call it the Razor. Oh, why's that? Because it'll be the sharpest thing in the air. Yeah? So how come they're letting you fly it? Oh, that's easy. They need the good pilots for backup. That's us. Thousands of comedians out of work, and I got two of them right here. I've disabled their comm net. They can't call for help. We can set up the new device now. Good. I love this ship. Don't get used to it, Slim. This Martian test flight is the last one. Don't remind me. Are you ready for the vertical ascent, Starwolf? That's affirmative, Chase One. Let's see this bird climb. Whoa! It's like riding an elevator. Smooth as glass in here. It is done. The EMP device is completed. Excellent. Begin the tests. The device is now online. Ready to be activated. Be my guest, Tim Man. Slim, what's the matter? Do you copy? Slim! Slim, come in! The Emperor would prefer it if you aimed at something on the planet instead of empty space. Decline. 20 degrees. I'm open to a better idea. Slim has an ejected. His canopy must be jammed. It'll have to be open from outside. Magna lock on. Okay, here goes. Copy that. Good luck.
Magnalock, off! <gasps> Taxi, mister? Maybe. Can you change a 20? I think you should hear this. All power is down in Fort Wood is blacked out. Your generators are dead. All power is down in Fort Wood is blacked out. Generators are power is down in Fort Wood is blacked out. What? Reports from the Rift Outposts. Half of the domed cities on Mars have lost all power. Some kind of pulse weapon. But the domes are shielded. Not against this. Continue to shut down anything that moves. The test must continue. Any idea what caused it? Crowbar says it's some new EMP device. It scrambles all electronic circuits, even shielded ones. He's working on a counter effect. Meanwhile, Starcom is evacuating all personnel to the Rift cities. That'll help for now, but with the oxygen generators down, the air in the rift canyons will only last a few days. Crowbar's gotten a fix on the origin of the pulse. We've got to get there and stop it. Stop it? How? With our bare hands? None of our vehicles will run. I've got a force field rig that might stop the effects of the EMP. I've only got enough power to protect these three Starcom vehicles. It'll have to do. And I've got a heading on the pulse. Looks like it's coming from the Kabe Power Commune south of here. All right, let's roll. and one rail gunner have left the Starcom base and are heading this way. So, what can three small vehicles do? Perhaps nothing, or perhaps much. It depends upon who is inside. So, give them a little shot of rhythm and shut them down. So good. You said this field would protect us. I said it might. Ah, see? We're still moving. This field is giving me a headache. I didn't say anything about preventing headaches, did I?
Emperor Dark. The three Starcom vehicles don't seem to be affected by the pulse, Emperor. Really? Oh, very interesting. What should we do? I do not wish for this test to be disturbed. Oh, Torvek. Emperor Dark does not wish for this test to be disturbed. Understood. Looks like we've got company. Now, why doesn't that surprise me? I've got a reading, guys. Shadow Force Invaders on Intercept Court. Grobar, what are you reading? Nothing organic, Dash. The drivers are all robots. Why don't we show these tin cans how Starcom takes care of business? Right. Scramble pattern. Now! Take a while. Crowbar, you've got to get to the commune to disable the EMP generator. We'll keep these Shadow Force robots busy. You heard the man. Get going. Right. Good luck. Report. Progress is being made. Have your robot drones stopped the Starcom vehicles yet? Not yet. Is that all you have to say? Progress is being made. Ugh. I'd better try to go in alone. Remember our plan when you see the guys coming. You got it. Good luck.
32 all right. No problem. It'll take a little while to fix that, though. This will attract too much attention. Come forward and identify. Oh, look. Your shoelace has come untied. Somebody ought to work on these logic circuits. Haven't your robots finished the Starcom vehicles yet? What is it? A slight complication. You wondered earlier what three Starcom vehicles could do? Yes. So? It seems that my robot drones and invaders have all been destroyed. Julie's trip will work on four at once. I'll need a better diversion. Robot, how are you doing in there, buddy? Not bad. Do you think you could create a little noise out there? Get their attention. I think I might manage that. Let me guess. That small problem you mentioned earlier. So it would seem. Attention all drones, repel attackers. I hope Crowbar had enough time to disable the EMP device. Want to shut it down without damage. Hey! Oh well, no time to do it right. Call in the troop carriers, Dash. The EMP generator is out of commission. Best we leave. It was a great device. Do you suppose Emperor Dark actually built it himself? What is it that he wants? Now there's the question of the week. The Emperor will not be pleased. He's never pleased.
Starbase. This is Starmax Vermont on final approach. Roger, Vermont. You are cleared for Bay Tango Zulu Niner. Welcome home. Remember, Colonel, desiccated kelp and Martian redweed makes the best macrobiotic salad in the system. I'll keep it in mind. Home sweet home. Mr. Corbin, I do believe that Mr. Griffin has returned from the land of the civilians. Well, nice to know I rate an official reception. Actually, we're the unofficial reception. This is the official welcome. I don't think I'm gonna like this. See, I told you he was psychic. That's not very scientific, Dash. Orders? Orders. But I haven't even unpacked yet. You won't need to. You're going bye-bye. Oh, no. Think of it as a camping trip. Cadets. Hey, we've all done it. Yeah, look on the bright side. What can happen on a training cruise? Colonel Griffin, I'm sorry to hit you with this coming right off leave, but we're short-handed, and I need a good officer to whip these cadets into shape. Now, the Theodore Sturgeon is old, but she's a good ship. I don't believe this. Strictly non-regulation, but it works. Already apt, sir. Very good, Mr. Reed. Strap yourself in and we'll see if this old girl still flies. Surgeon, you're clear. During this cruise, we hope to teach you what you can't learn in school. Hands-on experience in ship handling and your first hyperspace jump. In the next seven days, you will work hard and play by the book. Because space plays by the book. And if you don't, it can kill you. We start tomorrow morning with a little walk on the hull. Question, Mr. Ogden? On the hull? You, you mean... That's right, Mr. Ogden. On the hull. In space. In a space suit. Any other questions? Mr. Reed? Yes, sir. Will you join me in the cockpit? The rest of you, get some sleep. We start early. 
What do you think of them, Sean? Uh, fine, I guess. I guess I'm new at this teaching stuff, sir. So am I. You think I was too rough on them? No, sir. I mean, <laughs> wow, was I really that green once? Sean, we all were. They'll be fine. You turn in. I'll take the first watch. What do you think of Colonel Griffin? Real rule book Reggie, isn't he? Well, I think we can loosen him up. Yeah. Magna lock? On. Come on, slow and easy, just like your training. How much air in these suits, Horan? Two hours, sir. Now, as long as your magna lock is on, you're a part of the hull. Then how can we walk? As you lift your leg to take a step, the motion sensors release your foot, transferring the traction to the other foot. If you try to fool it and jump with both feet, it cancels the command and you don't go anywhere. And if you turn off the magna lock? Ogden, help! Pull him in, Hatch. <laughs> Energize your magna lock, Mr. Ogden. Magna lock? On. Was that your idea of a joke? That's enough. You all right, Ogden? Yes, sir. Mr. Hatch, you're on report. Yes, sir. I'll take over, Mr. Reed. Everything okay, sir? I think so. They'll settle down if we work them hard enough. Not so tight, cadet. You want to control it, not strangle it. Now this, as you know, is the Mark IX pressurized EV module. But we call it a spacesuit. <laughs> <laughs> and this? Shadow, Shadow Bat! Shadow Bat! Shadowbat. Congratulations, Cadet. You just identified this ship as a target. <laughs> That's a lesson, folks. Think before you act. Mr. Corrado, if you'll put these models away, Mr. Hatch has the first watch. Mr. Reed is the duty officer. Huh? I don't know if we should do this, Jim. Come on, Griffin doesn't have to know. Let's see if Mr. Reed has a sense of humor. Okay. Yes, Mr. Corrado. Cadet Hatch has sighted a shadow bat, sir. <gasps> Are you sure? That's what he said, sir. What is it? Sighted a shadow bat, sir. Angle on the target? Uh, target, sir? Did you tell Cadet Corrado that you had sighted a shadow bat? Yes, sir. Well, there, sir.
That does it, mister. You've gone too far. This is beyond pranks. You are confined to your bunk, under arrest, pending a general court martial. Well, what do you make of that? An older ship, not running at full capacity. Yes, it's that Starcom training ship to Theodore Sturgeon. Too bad. Activate the weapon systems, Von Rod. We'll come about and take them head on. Von Rod, you idiot! Status report! All systems ready, Major. Maybe lunatic. I heard that, Sergeant, and I'll deal with your insolence later. Prepare to fire. We're coming around. Ready? Ready? What the devil? Starcom Theodore Sturgeon. We're being fired on in Sector Peter 7 Niner. Mayday, Mayday. Sorry for that surprise dive crew, but we've got real trouble. We've been fired on by an unknown vessel, and we have a ship full of inexperienced cadets. I don't think we can hit them with our target simulator, so we're going to run for it. All hands into their suits and get ready for the jump to hyperspace. I still can find, sir. We'll discuss it after the battle, cadet. If we're still alive. That was too close. Ready. Counting back from five, four, three, two, one. Ready, Transtar warp drive. Power deploy. She's had it, sir. The engines are totally burned up. Weapons are out, and life support could go any time. Well, that tears it. Mr. Reed, will you and Cadet Dennis come up to the cockpit, please? Just a minute. There. You know our situation. It's not going to take that shadow bat long to find us, and with no guns and no engines, we're a sitting duck. So, I'm going to call him up and offer to surrender. You can't, sir. We won't. But I want him to think we will. Cadet Dennis, I want you to take the con. <gasps> You'll only have two commands to execute, but your reactions are the fastest. And you have to do them exactly right. Understood? And me, sir? I want you to pass out hand weapons to the crew and wait for my orders. Shadowbat, 
This is Starwing training vessel Theodore Sturgeon. Do you read me, Shadowbat? This is Major Clagg. I order you to surrender. I know that voice. Who are you? This is Colonel John Griffin commanding, and I agree to your demand. Our shields are down, our engines are dead. Griffin? Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Stand by to be boarded. You cadets are in for a treat. We don't do this sort of thing very much anymore. Cadet Hatch. Yes, Colonel. Under regulations, I should give you a court-martial. But if you were to volunteer to help me lead this assault? Yes, sir. Very good. Get ready, then. Ready, Dennis? Ready, sir. Activate magma lock. Now! It's a trick! Fire! Blow the hatch, now! Activate Magna Lock on! Come on, cadet! Rod, what's going on back there? What do you think? Hurry, you worthless wind-up toys! Huh? Come out with your hands up. Tie him up. What's happening, Von Rod? Answer me! Shame on you, Clagg. It's really not nice to shoot at someone who can't shoot back. You won't hold us, Griffin. Take your eyes off us for a second and we vanish like the wind. Put the poet here and his butt in the after section. Sir, how do we get home? Our engine's gone. True. But this ship still has one. We can hitch a ride. Think they made it, Dash? Someone did. Look. Training unit has returned, all present. Plus two guests to be delivered to the slammer. I see you had an uneventful trip. Sure. What could possibly happen on a training cruise? Congratulations, Mr. Hatch. Thank you, sir. Wait. I have something that I have to return to you.
our target, Tyrus. The Verdugo commune, dead ahead. You've got to try this latest batch of honey. That new strain of bees has been working overtime. Look at these oranges. I'm beginning to think that all of our hard work's going to pay off. You got that right. running from these animals. I have rights. The only people who have rights, young lady, are those who are willing to fight for them. We are pacifists. We never fight. But I'll find some way to stop you maggots from raiding us if it's the last thing I do. I'm sure that can be arranged. I just love harvest time. Pass the honey. Choke on it. Don't you know? A big cash crop like this always goes down real smooth. Go after the boy, Cormac, and remember, we're here to steal oranges, not trade insults with farmers. You got it, boss. You can't get away with this. We'll find a way to stop you. And just what do you think you can do about it? You might as well face reality, girl. You're a coward. And so are the rest of the pacifists in Verdugo. Leave us alone! We have everyone into the house! Don't Save hurry! Stay in the house! 
There, there. It's okay, girl. All right, farm boy. Hand over that chicken. Not without a fight. Dolphy, it is forbidden. We are pacifists. We never resort to violence. Not ever. Give him the chicken, Daltrey. That's the spirit, lady. Hand it over. Ah, lunch. <laughs> You folks keep up the good work. We'll just drop by from time to time to see how you're doing. Why do we allow them to steal from us, Elder? You must learn patience, my child. All things must pass. <gasps> Look! It's Starcom! Shadow parasites at 1.9. The reports of an attack on Verdugo were right. My readings show robot drones in all but the two lead ships. But the readings are funny. Not at full power. That's all I need to know. I'm ready. Thrusters on. Stabilizers on. Lasers arm. Magnalock on. Space battle before. I wonder why Colonel Corbin needed me for this mission. You can ask him when we get planet side. Hold on. Crowbar, get ready. Power deployed. done, if I say so myself. Not bad for an Astro Marine. Now, let me show you how Starbase Command does it. The two leaders are getting away! We'll have to let them go. Making sure the people on Verdugo are okay comes first. Let's sit down, guys. They'll think twice before bothering these folks again. We need to get to the bottom of this. Why would the Shadow Force attack a farming commune? Begging your pardon, Colonel Griffin, but that wasn't the Shadow Force. Those Shadow Parasites were worn out, probably stolen. They must be pretty desperate to risk stealing from the Shadow Force. Are these orange trees? Oh, man, I love oranges. Mmm. This is wonderful. I don't know how you managed to grow them here, but, oh, this is just fantastic. This reminds me of home. I was raised on a farming commune. I know. That's why I brought you here. Fresh oranges are quite a luxury item. I'm sure they'll fetch a very high price for the bandits who raided you. They're bound to return, you know. We better stay here for a while. No, thank you. Your assistance will not be necessary. I don't understand. It's our duty to protect you. We can stop these raids. Or at least show you how to defend yourselves. We must learn to defend ourselves. Another raid like this and our people will starve. They're right, ma'am. If the bandits steal your entire crop, you'll have nothing to trade for the other things you need, including food. I will call a meeting of the elders. I think I'm getting to like these folks. Me too. But I sure don't understand why they won't fight back. I think it takes a lot of courage to stick to your ideals, especially when it would be easier not to. If these bandits keep on raiding us, we won't survive. Teach us how to defeat them, Colonel. Sorry, folks, but I can't go against the decision of your elders. They'll never change their minds. And we'll never be free of those bandits. 
I have heard enough. Your violent ideas are already beginning to infect the minds of our young. Now, wait a minute. We don't like violence any more than you do. The elders have already made their decision. You will leave in the morning. How are we going to help these people if they don't want to be helped? He's right. There's nothing in the regulations that forces them to accept our help. I have a plan. No, not another one of your plans. If it'll help these people, I'm all for it. I can tell already, it's not by the book. Oh, relax. As I see it, there are only two places these raiders can be coming from. Sol City. That's a resort here on Mars. It's not too particular about its visitors. Right. Or they could be in Beachhead. The arms manufacturing city. Those people don't care who they deal with, as long as they pay. Right, so here's the plan. We feed both of these places false information about a warehouse of oranges here. Slim will go to Beachhead, and Crowbar can take Travers to Seoul City. And we'll see who takes the bait. And where will you be? Where I always am. Where the action is. Looks like she survived the trip okay, sir. I'm ready when you are. There goes Starcom. Our last chance to stop the raids. We'll be ruined. Patience, Lena. Their way is not the only way. Something's wrong! Are you hurt? What happened? Was it the bandits? I don't know. Some sort of malfunction. I'll have to wait here for my friends to come back. You may stay. In Verdugo, we do not carry weapons. I will return yours when you are ready to leave. I'll take it. I will take it. Come in, Beachhead Traffic Control Tower. Request permission to land. Who are you? And what's the nature of your business? There's only one person in this place I'm interested in talking to. Wait, let me guess. You want to speak to Mr. Big? Right you are. So why don't... Mr. Big? Relax, controller. I shall deal with this affair. Soul City, request permission to enter. Certainly, everybody's welcome. Say, buddy, I need to speak to someone I can make a deal with. You've certainly come to the right place. Having fun, are you? Lots of fun. Care to join me? I've got a better idea. Why don't you join Daltry? Over there. Oh, no. Not fertilizer. It'll be fun. And if I refuse? 
You get sand for lunch and dust for dessert. Think of it as energy in the rough. I tell you, these people have got 30 tons of ripe oranges. They're just sitting there, no guards or anything. So the farmers were holding out on me. Take them. Huh? <laughs> Lock them up and then prepare for an all-out raid on Verdugo. We'll teach these farmers never to hold out on me again. You won't get away with this. I already have. Not to worry. There's not a lock made that I can't pick. We'll be out of here in no time. In time to warn Dash and the farmers? I'm afraid not. Let's just hope that Slim is having better luck than we've had. Don't get me wrong. I like to talk a straight deal. But I don't know what you're talking about. It's very simple. You're interested in making money, and I have a foolproof way to do it. Foolproof? Hmm, let's hear it. There's an unguarded warehouse in Verdugo holding 30 tons of oranges. You're a profit for whoever sells them. Now do you understand? Yes. You're talking about... Them. We don't do that here. It's against the law. I, uh, I, um, uh, I, you don't understand. <laughs> I'm innocent. Think of it as energy. Think of it as energy. Think of it as energy. It's no use. It's fertilizer and it stinks. has shown us another way. Yes, he's turned their own weapons against them. He's saved us, and yet no lives have been lost. 
Thank you, Colonel Derringer, for protecting our homes and our way of life. There go my stolen robot drones. This operation is a bust. Let's get out of here. time you two showed up. Where's Slim? Well, it turns out the arms dealers are honest after all. So, uh... He's in jail. Uh-oh. How much is his bail? More than we've got. We owe you a lot, Colonel Derringer. If there's anything we can do... Well, it's going to take a lot of money to bail Slim out. A lot more than we have. We were wondering if you had some oranges we could borrow for a while. shower is exactly what I need. Oh! Who turned on the cold water? What are you gonna have for dinner? That last batch of burritos was pretty good for synthetics. 
Oh, all right. Who's a wise guy? The mining ship Go Placid has been plagued by strange accidents and equipment failures. So far, no one's been hurt. It says here there's also been an elevator failure and problems with oxygen lines. Sabotage? What do you think, sir? I think somebody should go and look into it without drawing attention to themselves. If it's sabotage, we'll have to keep it very quiet to avoid a general panic. We'll start packing. How could it be sabotage? A mining ship is a closed environment. You can't just sneak in the window. Maybe it's one of the miners. It's probably just bugs in the system. So, where do we start? First off, we need somebody with us who knows about asteroid mining. Crowbar, wasn't one of your top astro marines raised on a mining ship? Yeah, but he's on maneuvers on Luna. You radio ahead. I'll find us a Star Max. Sure glad he's on our side. Real impressive, Crowbar. Champ Orion's the best I've got. His gunner, Cannon Evans, never misses. Never? Never. Colonel Corbin, you wanted to see me, sir. Yeah, Champ. You know about asteroid mining. I need you to go with me to the belt. <laughs> Do I have a choice? Not really, Sergeant. Then I'd just as soon get it over with, sir. You heard the man. Let's get it over with. Standard cargo module in place, ready for, uh, cargo. I am not cargo. You sure are, sir. Says so right here. I always said Crowbar was nothing but 150 pounds of hamburger. Close her up. Power deploy. Don't think the miners won't spot you as ringers right away. How will they know? Mining ships are huge, and no one will see us arrive. The miners can't all know each other. Yes, they can. Everybody knows each other. They know your family, friends, who you're mad at, even your favorite foods and bad habits. I joined Starcom to get away from all that, and I swore I'd never go back. We just passed Mars, gentlemen. Get ready for Transtar Warp Drive.
Suzuki, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. No thanks to you and the rest of your management types. Me? Why get mad at me? It was an accident. We pay our cut to the management for equipment. You're supposed to make sure there won't be any accidents. The equipment checks out fine. I don't know what's causing the accidents any more than you do. What do you want me to do? I don't know, but somebody better do something, and soon! Well, what have we here? You might want to have a look at this, Colonel Derringer. Hmm, looks like a hydrazine trail, like Shadowback's leader. We don't read a ship in the area. Too much interference to be sure, but look at this. Hyperspace flux pattern shows a recent jump. There was a shadow bat here. It's long gone now. Getting out of the cargo module without being seen was easier than I thought. Now, let's try to blend in and find out what's going on. It's no use, sir. They're gonna spot who you are right off. I know these people. My dad was a miner and his father before him. Why, if it isn't Tiger Orion's boy. Your Starcom friends come to help track down this bad luck we've been having? How did you know? You're not miners, and we don't take passengers. Who else would you be? I knew your dad on the Nostradamus back when you were just so high. Yeah, so did everybody. There's never any privacy on a mining ship. Well, why do you think I left? I was suffocating. Champ always was a little high-strung. You gentlemen ought to get back in uniform. People will feel a lot better knowing you're here. Well, so much for not attracting attention. We might as well go change. It's no use, sir. If there was anything to be found, it's gone now. The doors that closed on Suki have already been replaced. Will you please stop telling me that it's no use, Sergeant, and give me a little help? You're right, Colonel Corbin. I'm sorry. I can't find a structural flaw, and this equipment all looks pretty new. It should be. These folks all pay part of their earnings to make sure the equipment's kept safe. That's why it's got to be sabotage. But that's unheard of in a mining ship. Miners have to stick together. anymore for the ore he needs. As long as those miners stood together, we never had a chance. 
But now, <laughs> we'll take over the ship before they know what hit them. Fortunately, it takes very little to activate human emotional response. Magnalon, off. Shadow Force, advance. sabotage here, and I think management's responsible. Why would we want to sabotage our own ship? I say we call a military hearing. I say we should take the whole place apart, bolt by bolt. I say we check out the whole sector for Shadow Force activity. That hydrazine trail we picked up still worries me. And I say we just get the whole thing over with. Hmm. These screws have been tampered with. I'd better tell Colonel Corbin. The computer's not working right. It needs to be checked. There is nothing wrong with the computer. <laughs> Let's calm down here. You stay out of this. Yeah, you stay out of this. Now, hold on a minute. I think I found something, Colonel Corbin. Where? Show me. I'd better stay with Dash. He may need some help. This is the emergency access plate for Computer Central. It's been tampered with. Servo robot, stop. Mm, not carrying a screwdriver. Doesn't seem to be. Wait a minute. That other black servo robot just a while back. We've got the morning chip on our screens now, General Torvik. By this time, they should be too busy fighting each other to defend themselves. magnet any closer? No, but there's more than one way to skin a robot, sir. So, what's the plan? Magnalock, on! Ha! Gotcha! Good plan, Sergeant. Magnalock, off. Morning! We can't fight about it now. Don't tell us what we can do. Hold it! Look 
look at this wiring. It's Shadow Force drone circuitry. Yeah, it's been feeding logic loops into the computer and causing the accidents. <laughs> You've all been had. The Shadow Force wanted you to fight amongst yourselves while they moved in on the ship. Yeah? And just who are you? I'm Tiger Orion's son. I used to be a miner like you, but I left, and I've been an orphan ever since. Listen to me. We're a family. Don't give that up. It's the strongest weapon we've got against the Shadow Force or anybody else. <laughs> Says they breached the hangar lock. Let's go crumple those tin men. I don't suppose anyone might have a brilliant plan. Yeah, come on. Real soon, champ. Don't worry. I'll be back. I've got friends here.
Starmax-1 to ring station. Everything checks out A-OK. -okay. As expected, Lieutenant, but the boys here still want you to run another test on the EMPs. Copy? Glad to oblige, Colonel Derringer. Let's see what this baby can do. One hundred and ten percent, Colonel. And Colonel, you mind if I just take the Starmax on to Ganymede? I've got a hot date there tonight. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Keep your helmet tight. We need you back on ring station. Some guys never have any fun. Colonel, you didn't send out an escort to make sure I came home, did you? No, why? I'm being shadowed. Bats and parasites are crawling up my tail. Bob, get out of there fast. You bet, Dash. Slipping into Transstar Warp Drive now. No, my pathetic friend, escape will not be so easy. Our crabs move in. to do it the hard way. Magnalock, on! They're hugging me like long-lost grandparents. We're on our way. Just great. I'm running out of fuel. What else can go wrong? Huh? We're backing away? What are they up to? Heck, who cares? Maybe I'll make it out of this mess with my rear thrusters in one piece. Bob, Dash here. We're exiting Transstar Warp Drive. Get ready to board. Take your time, Colonel. The rats are back in their cage. Good job, Lieutenant. Shame we had to lose a good piece of hardware. I know. There's one thing I don't understand. They could have destroyed me. Why did the Shadow Bat turn away? Sergeant Raymond, why did you allow that to live? Because I am after something far more important. There. Knew you'd make it. Come on, let's celebrate. Everyone's waiting. See you folks later. It's not over, is it? Not as long as the Star Max is lost. You know what that means? Our secrets, our technology, everything that makes Starcom work might already be in Dark's hands. to go over the 
wreckage of the Starmax with a fine toothed comb, General Torvac. My drones will be dispatched immediately. Target ahead, 61.2 kilometers. Seismatic disturbance registered. 18.3 seconds before upheaval. Alter travel pattern. Target ahead, 30.7 meters. Salvage operation begun. General Torvet, mission accomplished. Yes, this is exactly what I need. The operation systems computer chip for all Starcom vehicles. If I can decipher its intricate code, I can control all of Starcom's weaponry and vehicles. They will be helpless, and I will wipe them out forever. I can't stop thinking about that Starmax on Io. I'd feel a whole lot better if I knew it had been completely destroyed. There's no way it could have survived. The Starmax is the best ship in the Force. It was built to withstand almost any impact. What? Ugh. Hey! You lose, I win. Such is life. Great, I'm being serious and you guys are acting like clowns. We've got a problem. Ow! You're doomed, you Starbase Commando. Doomed. Okay, okay. I'll increase the grab force so you can stop your imitation of a ping pong ball. You Astro Marines need to have everything done for you. The code was ridiculously simple. Those fools have handed me control of their entire arsenal. Starcom is finished. I've never seen anyone bounce around like that before, Crowbar. Will you teach me how? Not today, Slim. Maybe not even tomorrow. But I'll get you for this. Send me a letter and remind me to worry. We better go see Admiral Brickley about the Starmax. Yeah, let's go. With the current budget cuts, Dash, a non-emergency mission will be frowned upon. This is an emergency, Admiral. If Emperor Dark gets the main operating chip from the Starmax, he could remote control all of our vehicles and weapons. Everything runs on the same type of chip. The system was perfected before Emperor Dark became a threat. All right, Dash. I'll sign orders for a flyby of Io. But you are not to land. Roger. And good luck, Colonels. Let's suit up. This is it. With this remote control, I have total power over Starcom vehicles.
on, move it! Dark or one of his people must have found the command chip and broken the code. He's using our own weapons against us! gonna do? I don't know. All I do know is that we are in serious trouble. I heard you lost a Starmax today, kid. Yeah, I caught one in the wing and just couldn't save it. You okay? Oh yeah, a few bruises. I was lucky. Can't wait to get back into space. These seats taken? Hey, how are your laser rats holding up these days? It is one beautiful machine, Bobby boy. So close to the ground. You can smell the dirt under you. You star winged flyboys don't know what you're missing. Captain, someone's got to the rat. Nobody takes over our baby. Travers, take the side. I'll head for the rear. Laser cannons only swivel 90 degrees. If I could get behind it, I might have a chance. The railgun is going wild. What's happening here? Beats me. Well, when you got yourself a wild stallion, you just got to take Blasted buggy won't turn! Cowboy, get to the turret mount! What now, Captain? Shoot down into the firing mechanism! My rip rifle! Bronco ever ditched me before, and my own railgunner isn't gonna be the first. Hold on, cowboy, I'm... Maybe I can convert something in here to override whatever's controlling the Star Max. Can we trace the signal back, find a way to block the remote commands? I don't know. Well, it's worth a try. What do you need? Well, let's see. Watch out! Ooh. Move it! What's going on? Why are the lasers bouncing off the walls? They use this place for tests. The whole room's coated in laser-reflective material. Stay put. I've got an idea. Ah! The top layer is easy to cut. We can use it for temporary shields. Will the shields last? Not long. Without the heavy backing, long enough to get us out of here, I hope. 
Not bad for an Astro Marine. All in a day's work, Slim. Run! We won't make it. It's about to fire. The lasers are out of power. Crowbar, you think you can override the control chip? Was the Big Bang loud? No, there's no sound in space. Very funny. Yes, I can override the control chip. I hope you have a plan, Dash, because I sure don't. Travers, watch out! No problem! Sorry, old thing. I've got to stop you somehow. Ow! My leg is twisted. I've got you, Vic. Hold on tight. Where's Rick? Rick, wake up! Rick! Cowboy, here! Shoot the drivetrain! I'm trying to bypass the control circuit. Slim, hit the lasers, fast! Got him! Okay, let's scramble. I'll override the control chip. We'll take the Starmax out manually. Crowbar, you were right. I'm picking up a signal on Starcom's control frequency. Dash? Slim, I've locked onto the signal. Power deploy. Doom yourself, Starcom. I've got a shadow bat at 3.77. Robot pilot, no human reading. They have overridden my remote control. My antennae. The remote is powerless. But you haven't beaten me yet, Starcom. My Shadow Bat has more than enough power to reduce that Starman's action. I have underestimated you, Starcom. But it is not over. I will be back. Let's get back home. I'm off for a hot bath and a good night's rest. How about you? I won't be able to rest until I've found a way to keep this from ever happening again. You'll find a way. After all, you are an Astro Marine.
We bring control. We're approaching breakaway. ETA, five seconds. Mark. I hate this. It'd be an awful long trip without the Transtar warp drive, buddy. Yeah, and it's an awful short trip with it. I'd rather walk. You should be happy we can't use the Transtar warp drive inside the orbit of Mars. There. That wasn't so bad, was it? Not if you've got a stomach made of cast iron. How long from here to Mercury? About an hour. Now cheer up. This is just a routine patrol, a milk run. Where have I heard that before? This ship ain't gonna fly anywhere. We don't have a choice. Blast dark for this. Call. We'll get the last laugh. Looks like Mercury's clear. Wait a second. Ship down. I'm picking something up. Listen. On Mercury. Coordinates. What is it? I don't know for sure. There's a lot of interference. Sounds like a distress call. Solarcom says there's a magnetic storm brewing. Yeah. Mercury isn't going to be a healthy place to be pretty soon. Still, we have to go look. I know, I know. Regulations. My instruments are going bananas. That magnetic storm must be getting worse. Can you get a fix on the distress call? Better than that. I can see it. Look. Oh, great. A shadow bath. Heaven forbid that I should quote regulations. Never mind, I know. A distress call has to be checked no matter who it is. But I don't have to like it. Okay. Come out. Easy, guy. Our main drive is out, but that ain't the only reason we called. Yeah? Yeah. We want to talk to Starcom. We got a few things you might be interested in knowing. You're telling me you're willing to talk about the Shadow Force? Yeah, anything you want to know. Wait a second, Sergeant. Shut up, Corporal. I'm in charge here. I hate to break this up, but if we don't leave soon, we're all going to get a sunburn you wouldn't believe. The magnetic storm? Getting worse by the minute. Hot enough for you, Slim? Very funny. When you say that, what company? Doppler radar says they're parasites. Sensors show robot drone pilots. How many? Only 12 or 15. Only 12 or 15? Well, there could be more. My instruments are acting up. The solar storm and all. Great. Just great. Sure, there are people on those ships? Yep, that much, I'm sure. Good. Got him! Ugh. Yeah, well, don't get calluses on your hand patting yourself on the back.
Can't you go to warp drive? Negative. We're too close to Mercury. Using the Transtar warp drive here could make the sun go nova. You can't have a dozen drones. Watch how Starcom plays this game, Raymore. Starboard thrusters blocked. Half tubes at 60% efficiency. Crowbar? Self repair won't handle it, Slim. Copy. Guess we better put this bird down. We're gonna crash! Not if I can help it. Hang on! What kind of landing is that? You know what they say. Any landing you can walk away from is a good one. Yeah, but where are we gonna walk to? How's it look? Not so good. I fixed the jets, but we lost almost all of our fuel. We aren't going anywhere with what we've got left. Anything on the comm? That's a negative. The solar magnetic storm is blocking all radio signals. Great idea, Sarge. Giving up to Starcom. What about the drones? Don't worry about them. They're programmed to attack, not to search. Then we'll fry here. Wait a minute. What about the laser rack? No good. The nearest outpost is 600 clicks away. Too far. Besides, it'll only hold two of us. Can't you use the rat's fuel for the Starmax? Afraid not. Wrong molecular structure. <gasps> no. <laughs> Looks like we've got a real problem this time. What's wrong? Wrong? Yeah, Jeannie didn't ask if I wiped my feet off before I came in. Something must be wrong. Slim and Crowbar are overdue to log in. Well, there's a solar storm starting. Subspace radio is being affected. But Slim always calls in. I think Jeannie has a point. Maybe I ought to go take a look. Probably nothing wrong. You know those two. Always as cool as cucumbers. Health temp is at 200. Listen, there's a way out of this. Emperor, I mean, we have a fuel depot only 100 kilometers from here. Sure you do. It doesn't matter. Might as well be a hundred million clicks. Even the rat would never make it there and back in this heat. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I don't trust those two. I wouldn't bet on that fuel dump being there. We shouldn't betray Dark. He's a great man. Yeah, but he can't help us now. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be in this mess. Never thought I'd use those survival blankets like this. Will it work? We'll find out. Slim and Crowbar's last report put them over Mercury. Copy that. I'll find them. Be careful, Dash.
Ragnarok on. Okay, Slim, crank it up. It works. Well, considering it's not a regulation tow bar. Never mind. Ah, free! Now we can deal with those Starcom fools. Don't be stupid. They're our only chance. If they don't make it, we don't either. A wise choice, Raymor. So you think we can trust them, huh? For now, at least. I get the idea they're angry with their commander. Besides, like Raymer said, if we don't make it, they don't either. That's true enough. There's a trans warp drive reaction nearby. What's wrong? The engine's overheating. We'll have to let it cool. This is not exactly the polar ice cap, you know. You got a better idea? Maybe. I hate to lose all our spare gear. The lighter we are, the faster we'll move. And regulations say people are more important than machines. Where does it say that? Well, if it doesn't, it should. Search one, calling ring station. Come in, ring station. The storm is jamming all subspace channels. There it is. Well, I'll be. We made it. It, there's a security code. What? Get the wrong numbers and we'll all be blown sky high. Fine. You do it. Starcom! Come in, Starcom! Sounds like Dash. Yeah, and not far away. We've got to get up there. How long before we can lift? A couple more minutes. Target located. <laughs> Enough. What the? It's the drone parasites. You said they wouldn't look for us. They aren't supposed to. Frequency. 
Copy. What is it? Do we take them now? With what weapons? No. If they're captured, Doc will know that we helped them. The drones will try to disable their stop acts and take them prisoners. What can we do? All right, everybody into the ship. No, leave us here. We'll use your laser rat to hold them off. Why would you do that? We, uh, owe you our lives. They won't hurt us once you're gone. We'll surrender. I don't like it. You'd better hurry, or none of us will survive. Besides, what about your friend? He's right. Dash needs help. Smart move, Sergeant. We can shoot the Starmax down. No. Raymore does not break his word, even to an enemy. to get out. Are you malfunctioning? We almost had the Starcom officers captured when you attacked us. Torbeck will hear of this. Well, pal, you got yourself into the thick of it this time. Oh, no! Hello, what's this? Slim and Crowbar. Need a little help, buddy? Me? Nah, I was coming to save you guys. That's all right. You can save us some other time. Copy that, Crowbar. Let's get out of here. You two were very lucky. Yeah, I'm a little embarrassed that you would end up saving me instead of the other way around. What surprises me is that Raymore and Slash helped us the way they did. It doesn't make much sense. A lot of what the Shadow Force does seems to make no sense. So, you two decided to return after all. Yes, Emperor Dark. We realized that leaving you would be a mistake. You allowed the Starcom men to escape. What punishment do you feel is appropriate for your actions? Punishment? They saved our lives. All I did was repay the debt. Now I owe them nothing. I'll keep that in mind.
shadow bats came screaming out of the sky, heading straight for the Lone Star Max. Their only hope was the surprise packages Crowbar had left on the shadow bats hours before. Summoning every last ounce of his expertise, Dash Derringer at last maneuvered the Star Max clear of its deadly pursuers. Now, Dash Gnarl! Jonathan! Package from your mother, Jonathan. The name's Flash, Roger. Oh, yeah, that's right. Flash Moskowitz. Oh, wow. A Starmax bomber with power deploy cargo bay and magna lock capabilities. Yeah, that's about as close as you'll ever get to one. Two years at Star Academy, and he's never even been in a flight simulator. Which reminds me, Astro, we have a simulation run at 0900. See ya, rocket jock. Yeah, we gotta fly. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. I'll show you. One day, I'll be Flash Moskowitz. Ace of the Spaceways. Fort Bragg Tower to Starcom 1. You are cleared for dock. Roger. ETA three minutes to Fort Bragg. Good. Captain Ruffing wants to see you in four minutes. I wonder if Crowbar will be there, too. I still don't know what we're doing on Luna. Tom, just one quick shot. No way, Moskowitz. If I got caught loaning out my M3, roughing it, have my hide. Ah, nuts. Your flux dispersal timing's probably off. That's usually a problem with these cheap training models. This should do it. It's okay now. Ah, oh, come on. Let me fire a couple of shots for fixing your gun. Moskowitz! Captain Ruffing wants to see you. Me? What does Rick Ruffing want with us? Nobody's talking. Must be top secret. I'm not informed any more than you are on this case. Luna is crawling with dark spies. So all I know is that you're to proceed to Star Force research and development on Mars. What? Then what are we doing on Luna? Picking up your cover. Our cover? Every year, a cadet of exceptional academic quality is chosen for the work-study project at Star Force headquarters on Saturn. Officially, you'll be escorting this year's cadet to Saturn. But that's only officially. And who might the lucky cadet be? Flash Moskowitz, space cadet reporting for duty, sir. Hey, kid, are you okay? Hey! Oh. Hi, Dash. I'm dreaming, right? No, Moskowitz. You've been chosen for this year's work-study project. Oh. That's nice. And I'm gonna fly with you guys? That's right. In three hours, we take off in the Star Max. The Star Max? Smoke and rockets! I gotta pack! <laughs> Captain, has that boy had any space experience? No, he's science division. Bad eyes. This'll be a big thrill for him. Likewise, I'm sure. Patch me into CadetNet. CadetNet logged on. Incoming messages from Buzz Corey, Roger Manning. Never mind that. Outgoing message for every cadet in Star Academy. While you're all cooling your jets on Luna, guess who's gonna be blasting off with the members of Starcon? Me! Flash Moskowitz! 
ace of the space lanes. Rocketing off to fight for interplanetary justice. Missions of daring in the wild, vast reaches of space. Preserving universal freedom in the world beyond tomorrow. Warwick, why do you waste my time? We just monitored the most unusual message over cadet net. <laughs> the computer message board for running those space cadets? One of whom is leaving within the hour with Dash Derringer. You've got my attention. The hard copy is on your screen, General Vondar. They're heading for Saturn! By way of Mars! Why don't they use the Transtar warp drive? And why would Starcom be assigned to protect a mere boy? Hmm. Entered Science Division, age 11. This child's a scientific genius! And a worthy prize for Emperor Dark. Yes, that thought had crossed my mind, Borek. But I want to know why they're stopping on Mars. Prepare my shadow bat for liftoff. Space Cadet Moskowitz, ready to blast off for adventure, sir. A very good cadet. But for now, we'll just blast off for Mars, okay? Yes, sir. By the way, I didn't catch your first name. It's Flash, sir. <laughs> I might have known. Ready for action, sir. You'd probably be more comfortable in the cargo module. But, sir, shouldn't someone be on surveillance? When Starcom's on the job, the evil shadow forces of Emperor Dark are lurking nearby, following our every move. Yeah, we know. We count them among our biggest fans. Relax, kid. Seems I heard somewhere you haven't had much flight experience. That's a load of space gas, sir. Why, I've... You're not calling Captain Ruffing a liar, are you? No, sir. But I know how this ship works inside out. I'm sure you do. But we've had a bit more hands-on experience. Yeah, we're experts in our field. Trust us. Lock on to their trajectory. Mars, the red planet, like the god of war for whom it is named, it is a place of intense danger. Knock it off, will you, Flash? I had a feeling we'd find you here, Crowbar. What is this thing? I'm afraid that's classified, gentlemen. I'm beginning to think that nobody knows. All this secrecy over a little box which we have to drag the long way to Saturn. Regulation A39. When transporting materials of value to the enemy, full security measures will be taken. And in this case, they're well deserved. But why not just pop it through a star bridge? Because if you carried this baby through a star bridge, you would make it out the other side. Jumpin' Jupiter! This is the max! What are you doing here? That's an oscillation hyperthruster, right? Somebody finally solved the charged particle deceleration problem. That's totally classified. How do you know that? Well, you can tell just by looking at it. How does he know that? He's a bright kid. Well, get him out of here. Thanks for the science lesson, Flash. Now try to stay out of trouble while we finish up here. Should I stand watch? You might need a good man with a mega laser. Right. We'll call you. Guess Dash and the boys have things well in hand there. Better keep an eye out for suspicious characters. I bet this place is crawling with Dark's evil minions. New to Mars? 
just passing through. I'm flying with Dash Derringer. And the Starcom team? That is exciting. Better than that, I've been assigned to help transport the Oscillation Hyperthruster to Saturn. Um, yes, uh, I know. You do? Isn't it great? By that baby, will make the Transtar warp drive as obsolete as the old Titan missile. That's just what I wanted to hear. Now, boy, you're going to take me to visit your friend, Dash Derringer. Go blast your jets. Boris, after him! We'll make sure it's stowed snug in the cargo bay of the Starmax, Anders. Just make sure you keep it away from that kid. There's a man outside with a laser pistol. <laughs> Tell him we've already got one. I've come for the hyperthruster, Derringer, and the boy. Why don't you come and get him? As you wish. That's it, Crowbar. Full blast setting. Blast them. Nail them. I'm trying. I'm trying. Is there a back exit to this shooting gallery? Right behind you. Slim, grab that thing in his After them! Anders, is there any way we can slow him down? Once we're in the airlock bay, yeah. Scramble the lock. Too late. Ever used one of these before? Uh, sure. Well, I know how to take one apart. You're not instilling me with a whole lot of confidence, kid. Look at Luna. This is easy. Slim, there's no way we can get past them to our star map. We'll have to use the sturgeon. Anders, this old training vehicle had better be operational. Run for it! Yeah! <laughs> Eat photon, shadow scum! We gotta get this old bird in the air now. Blazing to new adventures in the high frontier. Shut him up. To my shadow bat, we must follow them. In two minutes, they'll be all over us again. Which means you've got one minute to tell us what the blazes happened down there. That guy, he seemed to know about our mission. When I mentioned the hyperthruster. You blabbed about the hyperthruster to General Vondar? Nice going, rocket jockey. Did you give him our private phone numbers while you were at it? That was General Vondar? Sure looks different in the comic book. Terrific! A mission so secret, even we don't know about it, and he hands it to Dark on a silver platter. Somebody lock that kid up. He's a menace. You don't have to. I'll go. Poor kid. I feel kind of sorry for him. If we survive the next 20 minutes, then you can feel sorry for him. You heard Vondar. He wants the hyperthruster and the kid. I can't imagine why. Shadow Bat, closing in from behind. Crowbar, go check on Flash. Make sure he stays in his room. Here we go, folks. You okay, kid? What do you care? I like you, kid. We all do. Really. Are you space happy? 
Dash hates my guts. Nah, he doesn't. He just doesn't like you pretending to be something you're not. What do you mean? I mean, you're a bright kid. Stop trying to be a space jockey all the time and do what you do best. Use your mind. Then you'll be a real hero. That sounds like Bondar's knock. Gotta go. Use my mind instead. That's it. Parasite locked on for boarding. Slim, Crowbar, Anders, head down and meet them. That's their only way in. They're gonna blow the bolts. Slim, Crowbar, come in. Something's happened to them. There! That does it! <gasps> Slim, are you all right? I felt better. Won't get away with this, you shadow rat. Silence, boy. At last, the oscillation hyperthruster, the ultimate faster than light star drive. Your kind is doomed to failure. You face the wrath of Dash Derringer and the US Space Force. Silence! We will install this in my shadow bed and rule the solar system. Ha! When Dash Derringer learns what you've done. He'll kick your tail fins from here to Pluto. Shut up! There's no sign of the kid. But the hyperthruster's still here. We better follow them. You'll be sorry. When Dash Derringer comes blasting out of the spaceways, you'll be singing a different tune. Shut that brat up! How? Install. No matter. In a few seconds, we'll be at Emperor Dark's headquarters on the far side of the solar system. Then this loud mouth will be his problem. Space gas. When Dash Derringer catches up with you, he'll blast your jets. For keeps. Shut up. The hyperthruster doesn't work. That's rather obvious, isn't it? The whole tail section of the ship's blown to bits. To the parasite, we must escape. But what about the boy? I don't ever want to see that brat again as long as I live. So I jerry-rigged a bomb that looked like the hyperthruster. Kid, you did good. See what happens when you start using your brain? After what you did, we really owe you one. Well, now that you mention it... Uh-oh. Our heroes head home after another triumphant mission. The freedom of the planets had been preserved. Thanks to the brave men of Starcom and their new friend, Flash Moskowitz, Space Cadet! Hey, Dash, are you sure Saturn's ready for this guy?
Sorry. Uh-oh. Trouble. Why don't you watch where you're standing, Pops? Yeah, you old people just get in the way. I suppose you might have a point. I'll try to be more careful. Hey, we don't like <sighs> wise guys. Hold up a second, guys. Are you crazy? Look at those two goons. They'll massacre that poor old man. I guess we'll just have to teach you a lesson, Gramps. Hey! <gasps> Who is that guy? That gentleman was Lucas Hall. The Lucas Hall? The Star Ranger? I didn't think there were any Star Rangers left. He's the last one. Huh? Sandstorm approaching. We better land and roll up the windows, boys. Supply one. Supply one, do you copy? Ring station calling Star Max One. Roger, this is Star Max One. I've lost all contact with the Mars convoy. Looks like real trouble. We're on our way, Kelsey. ETA Mars, one hour. Copy, Slim. I'll call as soon as I triangulate the convoy's last position. Kelsey, you got that location pinpointed yet? That's affirmative, Crowbar. But there's a problem. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? The convoy apparently fell through the crust just above the abandoned Star Ranger base. 
We saw Lucas Hull today. The abandoned base was booby-trapped with snares and robotic sentries. The convoy is in great danger. They're probably okay. These guys can take care of themselves. Now what do we do? Us Astro Marines do our best thinking on the ground. This one's up to you. Got any ideas? All we can do is sit tight and hope somebody finds us. Soon. How do we find the convoy? Is there a map? No, Dash. The maps were lost when the records were moved to the archives on Luna. We saw Lucas Hull on Luna. If anyone can guide us through the base, he can. I'll get back to you. Meanwhile, stay put. I don't think Lucas Hull will be much help, Kelsey. He's been retired for 15 years. He's our only hope, Admiral. Well, you can try. Did I mention I thought this was a bad idea? About 12 times already. Kelsey told us to stay put, didn't she? We're just going to look at where the battle cranes vanished. Maybe they're trying to signal us. Well, I think it's a bad idea. That's 13 times. So, you think this old guy will help? This old guy used to be the toughest, fastest Star Ranger in the service. He's won more medals than any two officers in Starcom. Whoa, take it easy. I was just asking. Somewhere around here, Kelsey said. I think we'd better go. Are you still griping? Boy, you Starbase command types, no sense of adventure. Adventure is one thing. That is something else altogether. A sandstorm. Maybe this was a bad idea. Hey, can you go a little faster? Yeah, you get off and it'll go a little faster. Commander Hull? Yes? We need your help, sir. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I can't help you. But why? I'm tired and old. I was a Star Ranger for 30 years. That's enough for one man. But nobody else knows the maze. Kelsey! Kelsey, we've lost contact with Slim Dash and Crowbar. Oh, no. I bet they went after the convoy. You've got to help us. I'm sorry. You don't understand. This isn't just anyone. These three are my friends. They are also the field commanders for their branches of Starcom. We can't lose them. Do you know what that is, Miss Kelsey? No. An early Starmax bomber. When I was young, I stormed all over space in that thing. Just because it's old, it's all forgotten in an obscure nook of the park like that. <gasps> all right, I'll do it, but I work alone. I won't be responsible for anyone else. Yes, sir! Everybody okay? Welcome to the infamous Star Ranger underground base, gang. And if you say, I've got a bad feeling about this, I am going to kick you. Well, on the whole, I'd rather be somewhere else.
Hey, what are you doing? Sensors say the air is okay. It's a bit musty, but okay. A bit musty, you said? Shh! It smells like a mushroom farm. Come on, the tracks lead this way. I'm out of date, but I could handle this ship alone. Sorry. Starcom regulations won't allow it. Besides, they're my friends. I'm going with you. They're lucky, these three, to have you for a friend. Are the traps really that bad? Afraid so. And you never know when they will go off. You might pass one a dozen times and nothing will happen. But the next time... Did I mention that this was a bad idea? Yes! We gotta do something or we'll never find Andrew's convoy. Wait, I have an idea. Good. What is it? Don't move. Don't move? That's your idea? I know I'm gonna hate myself for asking, but I have to know. How did you do that? Easy. I figured it would run out of ammunition pretty soon, and it did. I was right. I hate myself, him too. I don't understand why they made the trap so dangerous. It was 30 years ago, Kelsey. A slightly more paranoid time. Danger existed, but not as much as we imagined. There's their Star Max. I wonder what that is. It's not the crew of the battle cranes, so let's just move on by, thank you. I've got a very bad feeling about this. It's a computer. Crowbar, what does that mean? Uh-oh. Well, that's a technical answer. What do you mean, uh-oh? Poison Security Systems Total Disrupt Sequence is now on standby. Implementation will begin in 10 seconds unless counterman. Do you wish to counterman? Yes! What is the counterman password? Why are you looking at me? I don't know what it is. Swell. That is incorrect. Disrupt Sequence Initiative. Wait, give us another chance! Excuse me, Lieutenant. Could you step aside, please? slow. In the old days, it would never have gotten a shot off. I'm not complaining. This way. 25 minutes to describe. Somebody has activated the security computer. That's bad? In 25 minutes, this entire base will be blown halfway to the nearest moon. Then we'd better hurry. I think you'll do fine, Lieutenant. Come on. Up there. Boy, are we glad to see you. Ah! 
Where's the rest of the convoy? I don't know. We split up. Come on, we've got to find them and get out of here. Wait. It's been a long time, but I think there might be something here. I must be wrong. Nice to know I'm not altogether senile. 15 minutes to destroy. see Kramer and Morales and a robot guard we'll have to be careful but I have an idea Phew. looks like I forgot one Nice shooting. Thanks. Ten minutes to destroy. Come on, we have to hurry. Hey, Brass Brain! Come on, Tinhead, catch me if you can! Lady, let's move, people. Uh, I hate to mention this, old buddy, but where are we moving to? How do we get out of here? We'll get back to the cranes and shoot our way through the roof. I don't know, Dash. Destruction of military property. Five minutes to destroy. In five minutes, this place is going to be atomic dust. You do have a point. Which way? There are tracks coming in, so this way. So much for that idea. Ready? Like I said before, two traps at the beginning and one in the back. Ready. <laughs> Set. Go. Are you doing? 
There's no way we can get out in time. But maybe if we destroy the computer, that will stop the countdown. It won't. This is only a terminal. The computer is probably half a kilometer away. What else can we do? 30 seconds for the start. Maybe I can help. Hello, Derisha. Four seconds. Three. Two. Lucas Hall? Yes. Let's cancel the struct, shall we? The code is Tonto. The struct sequence terminated. Thank you, Lucas Hall. Thank <laughs> you.